Anxious families are looking for their dead. Yeah. Tatiana Intrigalo is looking for the body of 34-year-old Eduardo Jose Valencia, but says she's had no answer after days of back and forth with the authorities. Today, it's been eight days since the boy died, and I still cannot get him out of the morgue. She says the problem to get his body is that he had no ID documents. The father, also named Eduardo, said his son had been incarcerated for a minor drug-related offence. Last Tuesday I realised he was dead because I spoke to him by telephone on Monday, but the next day I couldn't get through to him and I haven't been able to speak to him since. Juan Valencia, no relation, says he's looking for his 26-year-old son, Carlos Andres. He's had no contact or any official information since the massacre which killed 119 prisoners last week. Luz Proaño is desperate for news of her grandson, Julio Cesar Leon. I want to know what happened to him. They told me he's not on the list of dead or injured, but I've had no communication from him. I want to know if he's dead or alive. If he's alive, I can be at ease. Dozens of desperate families are coming here to the police forensics department in Guayaquil. Some have come to identify a body. Others simply don't know what happened to their jailed loved one and are looking for answers. Major Ruben Teran, in charge of the forensics laboratory, said on Monday that 107 of the 119 bodies had been identified. We still have 12 bodies which could not be identified because of the condition in which they were found as a result of being burned. The governor of Guayas region, where the prison is located, said the government will invest $75 million to address the problems within the prison system. We are working to make the prisons safer but also more humane. Part of what happened in this massacre, which shouldn't happen anywhere, is that past governments didn't contribute the resources or management necessary to ensure that it could not happen. He also said the families would get financial assistance to bury their dead, as well as psychological help. A week after the tragedy, many families still can't lay their dead to rest. Dan Collins, CGTN, in Guayaquil, Ecuador.